think um, ATH man is so undervalued way undervalued when we look at um, the technology that they bring to the market just the sheer amount of storage and data that they could handle and for it to be at this price this long this is um this is very a discount price because eventually this is not going to be at six cents for too long i don't see this coin staying here this long i mean right now this price is cheap if you take a look at all the other deep pins and see what they got going on ath have so much more going on I mean, just take a look at their um, X page. You can really see what they got going on, you know. Um, they are really heavy into AI. And they, <laughs> I just don't understand why the price is still so low. A lot of people might not know about it yet. But ATH definitely had the potential to be one of those coins that we're going to look at. And be like, wow, I wish I'd got some more. You know, a lot of people I feel sleeping on ATH. For it to be at this price... Um, it's definitely got to be some sleeping going on. But overall, long-term play, this is one of those good long-term play. ATH is definitely a good long-term play. If you look at where the future is going, especially with the AI and the amount of data that's going to require between crypto, AI, self-driving cars, streaming, video games, if you really look into the future and see where we're going, it's going to be amazing to see the price of ATH in a year or two. Because we're not turning back. We're only going to get advanced and more and more advanced in the AI. And that's going to require more and more storage, more and more, more, and more computing power. And um, let's even look at self-driving cars. Those, um, those cars require a mass amount of data storage. Who do you think go, they're going to need to store these data? Different data companies. Not saying ATH is in that position, but it's a possibility. Elon Musk didn't build that... Um, massive gpu center he got for no reason because even tesla tesla is not really a car company anymore that's pretty much a data company now the amount of data that tesla has has calculated and collected over the years if you really think about it almost every manufacturer is going to have to go to tesla eventually to get some data on self-driving car so when you look at where we're going data wise and the amount of gpus that ath have and the amount of information they could hold and store and stream is amazing and only see them building out more i only see them building out more so i'm pretty bullish on the long-term outlook of ath just when we look at the future data ai video game tv eventually we're not going to use our tvs anymore eventually we're going to be using our cell phones like we are for everything now we play video games on our cell phones we watch movies on our cell phones we trade on our cell phones where do you think all these computing power got to be stored at so man the future is amazing when it comes to like you know especially data companies deep in you know when we look at these deep in companies it's going to be amazing so i think we're real early in the space really really early if you really look further out, you'll see that ATH is a long-term play. And these prices are dirt cheap. Eventually, we're not going to get it at this price. We are not going to get this coin at this price. When you look at what they've got going on. If you, just, if you just look into the future, just look around you. Everything is data-driven. Everything we do. Streaming, video games, cars, the way we spend money, the way we talk. Everything is data-driven. Somebody has to store this. I'm not saying ATH is going to be storing all this data by itself, but they're 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 in line to store a mass amount of data. I mean, when you look at who they're working with, just go to their website and you'll see who they're working. So if you just take a browse on over to their website and really just look, look at their website, you know, and um, you'll get a, you'll get an idea of um really what they have going on, you know. Um, like I said, we're real early with ATH. It's a fairly new coin that been out for a few months, but we're real early. And um, if we look into the future, you'll see where this is going. This is going to be a long-term play, very long-term play. So I'm pretty bullish on it. I won't be too long in this video, but I'm pretty excited about the future of um, ATH when you look out and see um, what they have going on. I mean, if you look at render price, look at render price. And then ATH have way more going on than render. So just compare the two. Not saying one is better than the other, but when you compare the two, you'll see you'll see that ATH is way undervalued. And I'm pretty excited just to see 
where the future takes us. But just on a data perspective, everything we do is database and it's not gonna change. We're not going back to the stone age of floppy disk and CD. That ain't where we are anymore. We're in the GPU business where everything, we want everything instantaneously. And in order for us to get instantaneously, there has to be multiple GPUs, multiple storage sites, multiple data center around so that with this information could get passed out quick and fast, readily at our fingertips. Cause we are so impatient. We are growing to be an impatient society where we want everything right now. And it's gonna be data driven. Everything is in the palm of our handy cell phone. So I mean, I'm pretty excited about where ATH going. I don't know if my voice is hollering or what, but I'm pretty excited. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep um, staying bullish on ATH.